All right, welcome back to the shop. Today is going to be a discussion about lessons learned and how I don't learn. <laughs> I like my first Makita and I killed it because I put string trimmer line that was too big on it. And uh Anyway, so I figured, you know what, my bad, I put the wrong string trimmer line on it. So it comes to this and I bought some stuff that was just a little bit thick, uh, has a different dynamic to it, but it's the same thickness, the same effective .065 as this. And I put the new string trimmer line on and smoked this motor today. So it's, it's still hot, so I think I can find a motor for this. So I'm going to disassemble it, get a part number off of it, see if I can't find a replacement motor. And Because uh, these things are 100 bucks a pop. And, uh, if I can fix them for nine bucks, great. Um, anyway. Hot as shit. But it doesn't look like that's coming apart. I'm gonna order the whole housing. Alright, so I'll try to make this, this have as much continuity as possible with this video, but it's been a couple days since I've been at this, so uh, there might be a little bit of repetition. What I what I had tried to do last time was to use a small puller to, to pull this gear off of here, because I really just need the housing, and I need to put a new motor on here because I smoked this motor. So what I what I did is I went and bought a gear puller for like an RC car kit and I'm gonna try this we'll see if this thing works I I'm hopeful but we'll see what happens now this is not gonna work at all because it needs to go over the diameter of the pinion and that just isn't going to happen. Alright, so, so, it took me a half a second to figure this out. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to preserve this goddamn motor, which is toast. It doesn't make any sense for me to preserve the motor. All I need to do is get the bearing out of the pinion gear off of here, and then I can drive it out however I see fit, so. This is an exercise in trying to not get stuck in one train of thought. And here I I went down and spent twelve or thirteen dollars on a gear puller thinking I you know I small gears from time to time and have an application to buy I might have a, a need for that tool. So but you know how often am I gonna need that? I I just wasted twelve bucks because I couldn't think my way out of a stupid box and just figure out that I need to cut this gear off and pound the goddamn thing out. So anyway, anyway, I just feel dumb right now for not thinking that far ahead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lop this gear off and then uh, pound it out. Now this is a Mabuchi RS540 motor. This is probably one of the most common motors known to man. It's in every power wheels and a shitload of drills. It's just a just a ubiquitous motor. And these are nearly identical. I don't know if the durability is any well we'll find out, but this is a $9 motor. I also found a Makita replacement for $20. 
but that's coming on a slow boat from China. I didn't want to wait, so I spent $9 on this one. And we're going to see if that's a reasonable fix. But what i got to do now is pound this gear out of here. Alright, so the, the distinguishing feature between these two motors is that the, the poles... And what, this one is marked red, so I assume that's positive. But the, the holes are offset 90 degrees from the, the, uh, the drill, the mounting holes in the front. However, these are not offset. They are, purple, they are in line with the poles. So what happens is it creates an interference with here. But that's okay because I'm going to cut that goddamn thing off. So that's, let me zoom in. So as I, as I try to fit the motor in, the other motor would have sat in here nicely and this would have held the back of the motor to some degree, but it cradles the, almost the entirety of it. But, uh, but these poles sit like this as opposed to my new motor which sits like this and in turn interferes with this rear, rear housing. Not ideal but you know if you're on some desert island and you had to get by this is this is the kind of solution you come up with so let me go ahead and get that out of the way Bitch. All right, so it didn't work because this side's on here, so I need to cut that off too. So that's the Mabuchi RS540 motor. Um, this, the new motor, replacement motor, seems to work just fine. Um, I ran, I don't know, probably 10 minutes worth of battery through the thing. It's not hot to the touch or anything like that. Uh, I wasn't beating it as hard as I was when I killed this. Uh, again, it's a light duty machine. I probably was putting it through more than it should have been put through. Uh, weed whacking some two week old grass. But anyway, uh, for $9, it's a fix for for this so anyway if this shits the bed again and breaks i will do an update video um anyway thanks for watching